How's it going, YouTube? Siege Gaming here. We're going to be back with part two of our Fribbles guide that we're doing for Epic 7. We're going to be covering all the Fribbles things, such as doing heroes, building heroes, how to import gear, installing, everything like that. So let's get right into it today, guys. We're going to be uh, importing our gear um, from Epic 7 into the Optimizer. And how we're going to do this is load up Fribbles, and you're going to go to the Importer button, uh, which is the fifth on the top, or sixth, sorry, on the top of it. And you're gonna, you can look through all these if you want. You can do it manually, automatically, screenshots. Um, the reason we actually downloaded Python and NPCAP in the last video was so we can do it automatically, which is extremely easy, super fast. Um, but first things first, we're gonna want to go down to options, look down here, and we're gonna select what items to import. Um, you can do all. This will take up a lot of space and it'll take a lot more time to run it and it'll take a lot more processing power. So personally, when I play, you can build up in the game. Um, I normally do plus three and up because if I'm leveling gear, it means it's probably worth it. And if not, I've already sold it. So I would recommend doing plus three or up or plus six or up. Um, I mean, you can if you're very, very like you level all your gear, you could do over here. Um, but other than that, down below there, we're going to see select what heroes to import. Um, I would go ahead and import all five star plus heroes. Um, unless you want to, you can manually add in the optimizer later. Um, but for this, I'll stick for this now. This is going to upload all of my five star or above heroes. So next step is going to be um, open your emulator. I use LD player. And we're going to click start scanning here. And once it's, you see this start scanning in the bottom here, we're going to go back into LD player. And we're going to open up Epic 7. Alrighty, and now it's done loading, guys. We're just going to tap to start it. And right when we get in the lobby, I'll show you guys what to do to import the gear. So we're actually going to have to look at the gear. And first thing I like to do is go right into my inventory. And oh, this is the storage, but this works. So we can go into the storage. I actually don't have any items in here. But if you did, you would want to go in here to load everything in. And so let me back out of here. And let me go into my regular gear. So this is all the gear. And you don't even have to scroll through it. You can literally just look at it and go and exit. And we're going to exit out of here. I'm going to exit LD player. I'm going to click stop scanning. And this does take a little bit. But once it's done, it's going to tell you if it was successfully went through so yeah it's finished getting 408 items which is actually how many pieces of gear I have and I'm click OK and from there we're gonna go down here we're gonna click export and I like to just save this to my desktop you can save it somewhere else if you like but just click save file you can name it gear whatever you want I just leave it as gear and once we're done from there we're gonna go merge data and we're gonna go back to where we stored that file we're gonna select it we're going to click load and are you sure you want to overwrite you click OK and that imports all of this and once everything's done merging and everything's complete here we can go back and we can go to the optimizer and from here I'm just going to give you guys a quick tutorial on what everything is and then in future videos I will dive more in depth with it so to start off the optimizer page where you'll be spending most of your time is going to be where you select heroes to build and you can go and adjust options uh, you can choose your stats, minimum, maximum, um, how much you want a stat, how little you want a stat, and also crit like whatever accessory main stats you want, as well as sets. And again, I'll go in this in a future video, but the multi-optimizer is going to be something like building arena teams, wyvern teams. Um, you can adjust four or five characters at once. I think you actually go to six now. Um, and that's that. And then over in the gear section, you'll see all of your gear. Let me make this full screen. You can go and see all of your gear in here, and everything is going to be rated with a gear score. Um, you can sort everything by set, gear, rank, level. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but for example, one thing I like to look at is the score. And one of my highest pieces is a 80 gear score, and it's going to be one of the weapons that you get from Hell Raid, and it's this piece right here. And the next up is the hero section. Um, the hero section you can organize by elements, um, you can clear it, you can do all this stuff. And there's also a few more options down here, um, such as setting hero ranks, all that kind of stuff that I will cover in a future video. 
um, also enhancing doesn't work on here importer we just went through that settings you can change a few of these I do recommend clicking these four on uh, reforge hero priority locked and equipped items and I also like to have all those on up there you can also change the colors if you'd like and then the information tab is just information uh, to the discord github you can go on there ask any questions if you need or you can just comment on the video below um, I've been using or optimizer for a little while now so I'm getting pretty comfortable with it uh, but other than that guys I will have another video coming out tomorrow about uh, building some characters I'm gonna help do build examples on a few um, and other than that guys make sure to like comment subscribe let me know if you have any questions and make sure to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any more future videos peace